Hey, Jay here. Today we're going to talk about one of the most common things that a lot of guys deal with on an older bike when they're fixing it up, and that's the damage to the cylinder, either on a two-stroke or four-stroke. More common on two-strokes, uh, if you're fixing up an older two-stroke, very common to have a worn out cylinder or a damaged cylinder, either from detonation or a ring catching or just simply just worn out and way too big a tolerance. So in those cases what we do is we send our cylinder off to Millennium. In this case we have a KTM 125 cylinder that we've shipped off. We've received it back with our Vertex piston. It comes nicely packaged. We're going to show you what that looks like right now. So here's our return cylinder for Millennium. It's been sandblasted completely after the, the process and it's been completely re -nicosilled. Now they can actually weld up gouges, bore it, and replate it with, with fresh Nicosil that's as good or better than the stock plating in many cases. Um, especially in some of the Kawasaki models where it's really, really bad plating stock. Uh, their plating is much stronger, used by a lot of companies in the industry for a lot of their aftermarket or big bore cylinders. Uh, they're kind of the standard there. This one, we've had all the studs removed, all the power valve parts we've removed before we shipped it off. Now, if you're not comfortable with that, you can ship it to them and they'll do all that for you, but it costs more to have all that stuff reinstalled on your cylinder. On our piston here, you can see they have the, the size of it written here. That's what they reference to spec out your bore. So you have to send a piston with it or you can buy a piston directly from Linium when you send your cylinder in. Either way will work just fine and you get your piston returned with your cylinder. Now this cylinder is ready to reassemble back together. So as we zoom in here on this cylinder you can see this thing looks just like a brand new cylinder. Um, in many cases the stock cylinders can be very expensive. This is a much less costly um, option for you if you're trying to save some money. Now one of the downsides is it can take a little bit more time uh, than buying a stock cylinder but it can save you, in many cases, uh, you know, half the money uh, to be able to get it done. And in many cases, it's better than stock. So, um, usually it takes about two weeks, two to three weeks, I would say. Uh, they're usually four to six days turnaround, up to eight days turnaround of actual operating days. And so when you ship your cylinder in, cylinder in there, it depends how quick you ship it, how quick you ask for it to be returned, because those are, those are all expenses you'll incur as you do that. So, that's a completed cylinder repaired, ready to install in our new motor here that we're going to rebuild. So if you're going to looking to send a cylinder into Millennium, technologies for rebuilding, for, for replating, that's what you're looking at.